Hey everyone, this is Mitchell from New Dawn Aquaculture. We're a coral farm located in Edmonton, Alberta that focuses on sustainably and ethically producing coral for the Canadian market. Today, I want to talk to you about what is one of, if not the most iconic strains of chalice corals in this hobby, the Hollywood Stunner. The Hollywood Stunner has become such a classic strain of Echinopora in the saltwater aquarium hobby, mostly due to its beautiful coloration, its fast growth rate, how hardy of a coral it is, largely attributed to how long it's been in captivity, and the way it grows into a large colony, whirling up into a spiraling cup. The Hollywood Stunner is known for its bright neon green polyps that get up to about half a centimeter in size. These polyps seem to stay consistently colored up regardless of the water conditions that this coral is in. Where you will see some variation in the color of this coral is in the flesh between the polyps. We've noticed in our farm anywhere from a darker green color to a purplish blue color. And typically we see the darker green in slightly lower light conditions and the purplish blue in slightly higher light conditions. While I actually prefer the purplish blue coloration to this coral, when placing it in an aquarium, I would actually recommend that you place it lower aiming to get that dark green color. And the reason why is with it being such a fast growing coral, it'll quickly cup up towards your lights and the newer parts of the colony will get that purplish blue flesh as they'll be in higher light conditions. So you get to enjoy the full spectrum and the fade from that purplish blue to the dark green as you go deeper into the cup of the coral. For lighting, we don't feel that this coral is too picky. We tend to farm it out anywhere from about 90 to 60 par, but I would say a safe range for it is anywhere from 50 to 150 par. Just make sure you're not absolutely blasting it with light and it tends to adapt and do well in most reef tank conditions. For flow, it's kind of the same story. You can put it anywhere from low to medium flow, even getting into some higher flow. Just make sure you're not directly blasting it with a power head and it'll be okay. The caveat I'll give with flow for the Hollywood Stunner is that it seems to need more flow over time as it grows into a larger colony. With the way it grows into a bit of a spiraling cup, the oldest parts of the colony tend to end up being really good at collecting detritus, so as it grows larger and larger, you'll need increasingly more flow to keep that oldest part of the colony clean. As for water chemistry, the Hollywood Stunner is a very hardy coral. It's been in captivity a long time, so it's well adapted to aquariums, and because of that, we feel it's not super picky about water chemistry. We keep it in our LPS farm system, which does tend to be a slightly elevated nutrient system. We have kept it in our other systems before, which do have lower nutrients, and it's done well in both systems, but we have noticed slightly better coloration and definitely faster growth in the elevated nutrient environment, so that's why we choose to farm it in that system. With the Hollywood Stunner being such a fast growing coral, it's important that you stay on top of your alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium. An issue that all fast growing stony corals have is that they can become a victim of their own success. They tend to grow out so quickly that they begin to drain those elements out of the water at an increasingly faster rate, which can cause a quick dip in your water chemistry, and that quick dip in your water chemistry can then hurt the coral. So it's important that as the coral is taking those elements in to build its skeleton, that you're then replenishing them into the water, keeping your water chemistry stable. The Hollywood Stunner can definitely be a little aggressive. We do see sweeper tentacles come out of the coral at night, and while they don't seem to pack the most powerful punch, they definitely annoy their neighbors. So just make sure you're giving it a good amount of space in your aquarium so that as it grows out, it's not gonna bump into a neighboring coral too quickly. Feeding the Hollywood Stunner is not something that we focus on too much at our coral farm. We already get good color and good growth out of it as is, and typically when we target feed it, it's not that great at catching the food and most of the food ends up blowing away and being caught by something else in the tank. We rely a lot more on daily dosing of amino acids as well as occasional dosing of phytoplankton and zooplankton to keep this coral well fed. If you want to learn more about the Hollywood Stunner or any of the other corals that we farm at New Dawn Aquaculture, you can find more information on our website at ndaquaculture.ca. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We're going to be doing more videos on all of the coral strains we farm, the dry goods we use to farm those corals, and the captive bred fish we sell. So thanks for watching, stay tuned.